Hello Internet, it's Pastry White Guy, and welcome to Kitchen Hack! Okay, today on Kitchen Hacks, we are going to hack a cooler for sous vide cooking. Everyone loves sous vide, and there's a lot of reasons for it, but uh, people are worried about efficiency. Cooler is an excellent way to make sure that everything is snug and as well insulated as possible. So, I am gonna hack this cooler so that the Anova uh, sous vide cooker fits into it. I like the Anova. I hear good things about the Jewel and other things like that, but uh, this is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna hack into the top of this cooler. <clears throat> so to get started, obviously you're gonna need a cooler. Um, here I'm using the Anova recommended 25 quart party stacker. And the reason this is recommended is because the lid comes completely off, which not only makes it easier to install, but also makes it so that when you're cooking, you can just lift the whole lid and do your little peek and you don't have to worry about dribbling the uh, cooker out and all of that. So, you need the, you need the cooler top. Uh, you're gonna need a drill with a two, eight, two and three eighths inch hole saw, which I got here. You don't need a badass Milwaukee drill to do this, but I got one, so I'm gonna use it. And uh, you'll need a pencil for some marking. Uh, maybe some sandpaper or a Dremel if you don't get the hole exactly right the first time. And uh, last but not least, safety first. See what I did there? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do once you've assembled everything is uh, to decide where you're going to mount it on the lid. Uh, generally, you know, you're going to want it kind of smack in the middle like this. Some people kind of go from the corners, but that restricts the movement of water around a little too much, I think. So we're gonna want it to be right about here. It's not ultra critical that you get everything exactly symmetrical. In fact, you know, I'm really not all that worried about it myself. And uh, one thing you can do is just take the bracket that comes with the Anova for lid mounting and then just and just grab around in there and that'll give you a rough idea where you're going to place your your hole saw and then get to drilling uh, one other thing here is that i'm starting from the bottom and working my way out that's if uh, it's not too pretty here if it gets a little torn up if the uh, hole saw slides a little bit when it's first trying to drill in it won't completely mar the top so hide your mistakes like all cooks do. All right. <clears throat> um, do you want me to do like a top, like a close shot of you doing it? Yeah. Okay. You can start drilling and then I'll bring it over. see if the Anova fits right into it, <clears throat> which actually does perfection. So we're uh, pretty much done with that. At this point, all you have to do is uh, fill it with water, let it on in, Get cooking. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> 